So someone wanted to know when would we do a intracranial bolt intracranial pressure monitoring on someone who we suspect has increased intracranial pressure. And normally we do a lumbar puncture with an opening pressure to measure intracranial pressure. But sometimes this test is not reliable. So if you stick the needle in too many times, the fluid will all leak out around the hub and you'll get an artificially low pressure. If patients aren't relaxed or if they're not in the left lateral decubitus position or if they're straining, that might cause a false elevated intracranial pressure. So it can be falsely low or it can be falsely high. And in both of those settings, where we have a false negative or a false positive, as with any test, then you go to the gold standard. So if the regular screening test shows the answer, you do not have to go to the gold standard for any test. But in this case, if you don't trust the lumbar puncture, for example, clinically the patient has headache, pulsatile tinnitus, papal edema, and you know their intracranial pressure is high, but the lumbar puncture is 12, then we know that that could be a false negative. And in that person, you might repeat the lumbar puncture or go to a gold intracranial pressure monitor. In addition, there are some conditions where the ICP is only elevated at night. And the most prominent is obstructive sleep apnea. Because the mechanism of obstructive sleep apnea is the obstruction, forced expiratory effort against the closed glottis, increases intracranial pressure. And the apnea causes increase in the CO2 retention, leading to increased intracranial pressure. But when they wake up, and they have the spinal tap during the day, it's fine. So nocturnal elevations of ICP might benefit from a bolt 24 hour overnight intracranial pressure monitoring. And there are some patients where their pressure, just like your blood pressure or your eye pressure, only goes up at night or only goes up certain times a day. And so we have a normal waveform for intracranial pressure that represents your blood pressure, the pulse pressure, your closure and opening of the valves in your heart and the compliance of the ventricular system. And some patients have abnormal waveforms where they have a like a spike uh, in the compliance in their ventricle and that's only measurable if you have continuous ICP monitoring with an invasive bolt. These things called plateau waves. So when would I do an ICP bolt manner measurement? When I don't trust the lumbar puncture opening pressure. Either I think it's a false negative or I think it's a false positive. Go to the gold standard, bold ICP measure.